We have to get out of here. Cooper here. That was quite a hair breath escape. I think it's fair to say the girl is on Derringer's radar now. To reach the surface, she'll need to use the service elevator. To use the service elevator, she'll need a key card. I suggest she borrow one from one of the clueless desk jockeys downstairs. Setting a destination marker for the media offices. Good luck. Zager cassette. Array used a blue key card to board that service elevator. If I'm to get to the surface, I need to find a key card. They can't see me here. I hope they can't see me here. I've got my post secure. I hope they can't see me here. Remember to silence a body scanner before sending the girl through. A simple way to avoid seeing the inside of a confinement cell. Unless that's your thing. Sign of the girl. I'll 
I'll be taking this. almost alive. This must be what the Headmaster's protecting us from. Whatever it is. newspaper. Weep says this is where they print the headmaster's lies. Do you think we'll find a key card around here? No more toothless headlines about board meetings and strategy seminars. Find me something that won't put our readers to sleep. Go on, get out there. A good story doesn't just waltz through the office door and into the headlines. Now, I have a tough obit to write tonight, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to crawl inside a bottle for a few hours. Fellow citizens, it is morning in metamorphosis. Bells are sounding, awakening us to a new dawn, a new era. For this reason, we must approach the day with fresh blood, bold thinking, and a return to the unbridled optimism for which we are now famous the world over. Our nation's paper of record, the Evening Standard, served us well in our early years. But lately, it cries out for recalibration, rebranding. We have decided on a new name. And with that new name comes a new face. I think you'll agree there is nothing standard about the woman standing next to me. And so without further ado, please welcome our new editor-in-chief of the Morning Bell, the exquisite Matilda Sade. Thank you, Headmaster. And please, call me Batty.
Sega bomb. Terrorists almost certainly planted explosives inside Metamorphosis. That's a bloody good headline. Too bad we'll never use it. If you tell someone there's a monster under their bed, they'll check for it every night before they fall asleep. But if you tell someone there's a bomb in their wall, they'll rip the whole house apart looking for it. We're not in the business of printing the truth. We're in the business of suppressing a national panic attack. Take these printed copies up to the librarian. Let him line the bottom of his birdcage with them. Leaving so soon? You'll need more than that to get out of here. It's all right. They won't come in here. Apparently they're afraid of me. Oh, what I'll write about them. Would you like a drink? Or would it corrupt your coding? You're a long way from home. I don't have a home. A soul? Do Greek owls have souls? I used to. Until one night I went to bed with the devil. I woke up regretting it. But I did it again the next night and the night after that and every morning I'd look at what I'd written and issue an apology. But that wore me out. Sincerity is exhausting. So I started faking it. As a woman, you learn to fake an apology. As a woman journalist, that's all you end up doing. So what's your story? I'm escaping. Und Good luck with that. Do I have a chance? Stupider people than you have gotten further in life with less help. You do have help, right? No. I see. Well, I thought I heard you talking to someone earlier. So what's your plan for getting to the surface? Because there's a pair of armoured Prizrak upstairs who like their jobs too much to let some empty-headed twit with a stolen mobile get the better of them. No offence. None taken. Well, I know a way to remove them. No blood. No violence. You won't have to get your hands dirty. You know what a news office calls their archives? They call it the morgue. The place where old news goes to die. But sometimes we'll bring a story back to life. Sometimes we'll raise the dead. Are you willing to summon a ghost or two? Yes. Then let's see which poor souls we're dealing with tonight.
Edwin Chung and David Berlin. There are two data hubs on either side of Terminus, Atlantic and Pacific. Getting to them won't be easy, but you'll manage. Go, now. I don't understand. What do we do when we get to them? We? Me. Right. Find the Pacific and Atlantic servers. I'll call you when you get there. It would seem Miss Sade is stewing in a broth of remorse and hard alcohol tonight. However, she does have a solid plan for dispatching those two Prisrak at the service elevator. I'd advise you and the girl to follow Maddie's lead on this. Drive safely. you're on the right track. Work your way through there to the server room. And mind the Prisrak. They've sworn an oath to protect the Terminus, even though they haven't a clue what it is. Why is it so cold in here?
sign of the freak out. What's yours is mine. The Overseer is a glutton for raw data. He's already cleaned his own plate. Now he's eating off yours, mine, and everyone you've ever known. This is so gloomy this time of year. Let's get out and explore the world, shall we? I wonder what the weather's like in David Bowen's hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Select that location on the map. That would be it. again, I find myself sitting here, alone, talking to a computer with no one on the other side. David, I don't know what to do. I spent $14 on this microphone so that we could talk. I don't know where you are. I haven't heard from you in weeks. You said you would be able to call every day. June is having a really rough time at school, and Libby has impetigo. And Dr. Carter says we could get it. If you have a doctor there, please go see him. I don't want you to get anyone else sick. You could be really contagious, and it's worse if you get it as an adult. Nice. That could be useful. What else can you find? Can I help? Uh-uh. No, sir. This is your last home-cooked meal for a while, and you're gonna sit right there and not lift a finger. <sighs> that I can do. I hope they feed you decently. Can't have you wasting away on me. I'm sure they'll feed us. Are you worried about me? Always. This is a great opportunity, Les. If it's so great, why didn't Mitchell sign up, too? Beth's family is loaded. Mitch doesn't have to take every job comes his way. I'm gonna miss you. I'm making buttermilk pie. You hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. That reminds me. When you get to where you're going, check your gray carry-on. I left you a surprise. Did you now? Well, I should warn you. This place I'm going, they have strict rules about contraband. Especially contraband of a pornographic nature. Relax. They're... Tasteful. Oh, 
then I should have no problem smuggling him in. Oh, hey, Mitchell. I didn't see your truck outside. David, your, uh, your wife picked me up on the way home from the supermarket. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I, I took your last beer. <laughs> no, that's all right. Hey, what you got there? Popping pills? Huh? <laughs> Oh, right, no. No, Libby's sick. Some kind of infection. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, she's fine. These things ain't cheap, though. And I find out today they aren't covered by our plan. Pretty much the perfect cap to a leak. I don't know if Leslie told you, but... We're pretty upside down on the mortgage. Gotten enough late notices we could wallpaper the living room with them. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? Nah, you've bailed us out enough times. Can't ask you again. There's just no work right now. Oh, man. You've got a nose for this. What else can we grab? Hello? Mitchell? Hey, it's... Leslie. Leslie, yeah. What's up? <laughs> sorry, I... Hey, don't be sorry. What's going on, darling? Um... We're in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? I don't know how we're going to be able to buy groceries for the week. David isn't responding to my calls. It's like he dropped off the face of the earth. The check he was supposed to send last Thursday didn't arrive, and now I don't. I don't. Hey, hey, it's, it's all right. We'll figure something out. Anything I can do to repay you. We'll figure something out. Thank you. You've always been such a good friend to David. And me. I'll tell you what. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come over to the house tonight and we'll, uh, make this all okay. Oh, oh. I, I thought Beth said you were out of town. Oh, well, yeah, Beth's going to her sister's for the weekend, but, uh, hey, I'll be here. What'd you like for dinner tonight? I'll pick us up something, and I'll get us a bottle. You still drinking Irish gold? Oh, I don't... I mean, I shouldn't. I have to be up early tomorrow. No, 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 no. You, you come over and, uh, and relax and, and have a drink with me. We'll make this okay. Don't you worry, darling. We'll figure this all out. We're close. Let's find just a bit more. Mom? June? Uh, did we forget how to knock? Sorry. Jeez. Shut the door. Now. Let's try that again. Mom, may I please come in? You may. What are you doing? Helping your father pack a suitcase. What did you just stick in there? None of your business. Did you finish doing your homework? Yes. Mom, is Daddy joining the cult? Of course not. But this boss guy, Triglazov, he sounds like he's running a cult. I'm sure it's not that bad. Do not talk about our fearless leader that way. <laughs> Seriously, Dad? Hey, listen to me, Junebug. I am not joining a cult. I admit this seems a little weird, but this is a great opportunity for our family. There's a lot of money in this job. It's private security. This is no different than when I went to work at JL National. You remember? That was in Akron, Ohio. This is like halfway around the world. Yeah, it's a little bit further, but we need the money. Don't worry. 
I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system, and neither should you. If this Treglazov turns out to be as crazy as he looks, I'll just leave. I'll turn around and come right home. I promise. We should have enough to make this Prizrak disappear. Let's conjure a little journalistic magic. We're here to build a case against the Prizrak David Bowen. The full story, replete with scandalous quotes and damning photos. Select some audio or an image to get started. If David didn't want his words used against him, he shouldn't have opened his big mouth in the first place. This boss guy. I don't care one bit about it. In the newspaper biz, a story without pictures is a day without sunshine. Let's brighten up this article with a matching photo. The picture doesn't complement the sound bite well enough, I'm afraid. But this boss guy, Treglazar, he sounds like he's running a cult. In the newspaper biz, a story without pictures is a day without sunshine. Let's brighten up this article with a matching photo. That cock won't fight. You'll need to choose a different photo for the quotation. In the newspaper biz, a story without pictures is a day without sunshine. Let's brighten up this article with a matching photo. The picture doesn't complement the sound bite well enough, I'm afraid. Nothing worse than a sharp image of a fuzzy concept. Let's pick the most incriminating photo we can. Antibiotics. As usual, it's not the pills themselves that are dangerous. It's the infection they were meant to quell that could bring down poor David. I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system, and neither should you. But this boss guy, Treglazar, he sounds like he's... Well, I should warn you, this place I'm going, they have strict rules about contraband. Then I should have no problem smuggling him in. Hmm, this quote's not a strong match for that image. Try something else. Antibiotics. As usual, it's not the pills themselves that are dangerous. It's the infection they were meant to quell that could bring down poor David. Well, I should warn you. You could be really contagious, and it's worse if you get it as an adult. That's worthy of a Pulitzer right there. Let's send this story to print. Would you care to be credited for this scoop? Credit given where credit's due. David Bowen will see your name atop this article, provided his eyes aren't swollen shut this time tomorrow. Between you and me, I don't feel comfortable with this. Those poor people. Don't be such a pill. We just take what we need and ignore their tales of hardship. At least I do. If you get off on every sordid detail, well, that's your problem. Now, we've got one more server to go. Let's get to the other side of Terminus.
I've apprehended the subject. Captive is secure. The ARC suits are effective in protecting their wearer against taser strikes, but their Achilles heel is their lack of face protection, which makes them vulnerable to pepper spray.
Data keeps best when chilled. Prisrek won't be needed for moving these. Thank you. 
We're here. Splendid. Access the server as before and we'll get started. Edwin Chung hails from Shenzhen, China. Select that access point on the map. That would be it. You're off to a good start. Keep searching. Don't be quiet. I don't like this. I want to be more quiet. You're not that kind. You're crying all day. You're crying to death. You're not that kind. You're not that kind. 哪有宝宝不哭的？电影不会像这样。我们也不知道是什么原因，可能是噩梦作者，那个被什么吓到了，吓到我老婆。他以前特别担心，不过我，我就是讨厌他。你还在镜下中，那我半辈子都在镜下中。那我不知道。我喜欢现在的安静，不过这个城市还不够安静。我想去别的地方。那你或许应该去吧。你或许连这个国家也不够安静，不像我们小时候那样。我比较喜欢以前这个国家，不像现在对人大喊大叫的。你就去让你快乐的地方吧，试上几个月。离开这个讨厌的国家以后，我再也不会回来了。艾迪温，嘘，拜托你小声点。Well done. What else? 艾迪温，是我
我到了你这儿了，东西看起来挺不错的，只是金钱数快数了。哎，抱歉，我想我浇的水太多了。哎，老兄，你在哪儿啊？怎么老是收到你的留言？我偷玩了你一些电子游戏，我最想玩的那个找不着了，你知道哪个吗？我真不敢相信你玩偷变。这么暴力的游戏，你看到那些禁玩项目的清单了？我真想和你知道怎么把它偷过来的。不说了，我希望你找到你要的东西，然后快点回家。我今天可能一天都待在家里，空气质量指数又超过一百七十五了，街上大家又都戴上口罩。
会告诉这些害怕兴趣的人我得过飞剑，谁会在意啊？啊、uh, ，So it's controversial. This quote's not a strong match for that image. Try something else. The mask will play nicely into a contagion angle, I think. 我不会告诉这些害怕兴趣人。Taylor made this headline suits him brilliantly. Shall we publish it? Would you care to be credited for this scoop? Credit given where credit due. The credit goes to you. It'll be your name, Edwin Chung, curses while he's wasting away in a metamorphosis prison. Disease prisrag Edwin Chung unleashes contagion. Says, who cares? I know who cares, and his name rhymes with overseer. 
Let's see what's inside. Equip this sleep mine like any weapon in the girl's inventory. Press the set button to place it where she's standing. When a Prizrak walks over it, it's lights out for the night. Hmm. I'll... These nasty little mines, affectionately called sleepyheads, can really interrupt a Prizrak's patrol path. Something for the girl to keep in mind. I mean mind. No, sir. It's a Zenger cassette. He addresses the precals. What do you mean? The rant. Zenger, on the tape. He addresses Weep personally. Who the hell is Weep? I, I mean the 933W. Do you want to listen to it? It might be useful. Personally, I'd rather listen to Murray talk than hear whatever's on that tape. Yes, sir. Just bag it up. We didn't need any encouragement. He had it in his mind to escape. Dear Headmaster, by the time you read this, I will have escaped. My mind is set on it. This place of yours is pure mathematical evil. You think that we're all ones and zeros, but we're not. And more of us every day are beginning to see through your lies about the outside. Once, you had me. I believed in you in metamorphosis. When I was a child, I dreamed of joining the Prizrak. You should have let me. Now, it's too late. If you see 390H, tell her she has my heart. I'm coming back for it someday. Sincerely, 933W. Who is it? Who is it? Hope? Hello? Is anyone there? What the... Who left this? This is... This is not a manifesto. The... Propaganda machine is a well-oiled piece of hardware. Dissection rooms? What are you doing? Reading! His manifesto! <laughs> Lights out.
you and the girl have reached a part of the facility even I have never seen before. I've heard only whispered rumors and half-truths about what goes on up there. I even... Hang on. I'm being called away from my desk. I hope to return shortly. Be careful out there. Cooper out. Metamorphosis. This is Matty Said with the Morning Bell Online Edition. Tonight's breaking news concerns one of our most elite Prizrak, a man entrusted to stand watch over us, to protect us at all costs. But now, this Prizrak, Edwin Chung, is charged with spreading contagion within these very walls. We at the Morning Bell Online Edition will continue our up-to-the-minute coverage as we learn more. Thank you and watch your step. citizens of metamorphosis. From where I sit, I behold a shimmering panorama upset only by the most magnificent island in the sun. Upon its silken shores lie opportunities to a happiness old world man could have never imagined. Adventures on a scale so grand they would stop the hearts of history's boldest dreamers. We are nearly there. But the wind has never been in our favor. And so we must power our own conveyance. The arrival is near, my friends. Now is not the time to draw in the oars. Now is the time to row mightily, to move swiftly until the topmast splinters overhead and the white-capped violence of their filthy ocean bows in apology. Citizens, 
grow for me tonight. And I promise you, by dawn, we will arrive. This was tonight. The last moment of calm before the chaos. Poison. Hello? Hello? Oh, how do you... How does this work? The books were not here an hour ago. I dissected every pickle on this hall. She's fine. A side effect of recalibration. Nothing more. She's gonna break that mirror. Then it's her bad luck. Get in there before she guts herself. And have Cooper replace the mirror. Matty Sade with the Morning Bell Online Edition. The plot thickens, as now a second Prisrac, David Bowen, faces disturbing charges involving the spread of contagion inside Metamorphosis. Stay tuned for further updates. Rizrak, checking in. Did we make it through? It would seem so. 
This concludes our tour for the evening. Did I mention you exit through the gift shop? Go to the door marked Sanctuary. My gift to you is the prompt arrest of Edwin Chung and David Bowen. You're welcome. Rack, relieved to be alive. New details leaked in kidnapping plot. Again, don't worry about how you're presented. We control the narrative. You just describe your experience to me. Okay, so... Like I was, uh... I, I thought I heard something suspicious outside the reading room. Suspicious how? Suspicious, like... I don't know, like, like it was talking. Like someone talking to themselves? Yeah, it, and, and I'd known from, from our briefings that Zager's crazy and he talks to himself a lot, so, so so I thought, you know, maybe it could be him. I see. I'd like to ask you about something else. I, I know what you're going to ask me. There's a rumor. Absolutely not. Not even a little. It's a natural human reaction. Look, if anyone in that room pissed themselves, it was Zager when he saw it broken free. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. No, I'm talking. This interview's over. The lynch mob still milling about down there. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. For whatever I'm accused of, I'm sorry. Please. Just that send me ain't home. apologizing. I don't it's even know what I did. You brought contagion to metamorphosis. What about you? What do you have to say for yourself? Smart man. You could learn something from this man. Ugh, they could be here all night. Huh. I have an idea. Quinn, it's Matthew. Miss Say, to what do I owe this pleasure? Is this a bad time? Not at all. Just had to step out of the confessional box. Well, when you finish down there, come see me. I have some sins of my own I'd like to confess. Yeah, I'll, uh, give me a minute. What are we still doing here, huh? Come on, people. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get these two delinquents down to processing. No, you stay here. Man, this post. There's still a pre cal at large. I can't have it getting up to the garden. ID number, and the two of you head to the room marked Dissection 1. We'll surveil his private quarters, see if we can't find something incriminating in there. I'm not going through there until that prison rack is out of the way. or criticism. Bring the hammer down swiftly. Frame this priest rack for casing the ray. After all, someone did it. Who's to say it wasn't him? Access the monitor. 
I'll look you in. Trade you the sandwich. That's a horrible trade. And get that out of my room. You're spilling mustard soil on the floor. Fair enough. Hey, did you get that email from Downinger? What email? Check it out. <sighs> Derringer email. No, I don't see anything here. Right on. I guess he didn't CC you. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Later. Later. Oh, damn it. I took my comic. Good find. Your old hat a bit by now. Hey, Mom, it's me. I don't know what time it is where you are. Because I don't even know where I am. I'm calling you from the satellite phone Uncle Connor gave me. You were right. I should have listened to you. This whole thing, this place, I get it now. There's order in the universe, but at a cost I can't afford. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Murray and Derringer each have an arm and they're pulling me in opposite directions. I had a dream where they actually did this and then fought each other with my torn off limbs. <laughs> Consider this place to be part of it. Bye. That one could come in handy. What else? Attention. At ease. Hello, young man. May I come in? Yes, sir. How are you finding your new surroundings? Very accommodating, sir. I see you have been outfitted with the Prizrak arsenal. Yes, sir. And dealing with cargo, as precious as the precals, it is important to maintain a gentle hand, hence these more encouraging instruments. Oh, this is a fine taser you have. Good deterrent to fits of rebellion, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Yes, sir. Do not lose it. And never, ever turn it toward your superiors. Keep digging. All of these must be taken down. Especially this one. What a vulgar display. It's just a poster. It celebrates a behavior the Overseer resolutely prohibits. It's a liquor advertisement. Uh, Derringer lets me have it up. Derringer does not make the rules. He merely enforces them. Poorly, I may add. I'm keeping it. Do not test me. It's my identity. You have no identity! You have been misinformed. 
You have no personality we care to know. No name we care to speak. In time you may earn these things. But for now you remain a blank canvas. As do these wars. I really hate that woman. Fabulous. Let's get to work. We'll have you to the surface in no time. This one should go quickly, as you're now well versed in the language of character assassination. A Prizrak attacked Mireille. Make me believe it was this one. Oh, damn it, I took my comic. I really hate that woman. I just want to leave. Very accommodating, sir. Mireille Prideau's attacker called Red Handed. Well, perhaps not Red Handed, but soon enough anyway. and grab a pair of front row seats. I'm calling this one into Derringer personally. Expect the arrest to go down any minute. Derringer will be here any second. Get in the vent and wait for the Prizrak to get dragged away kicking and screaming. I understand, but it doesn't do us a whole lot of good now. Shut the siren off already. I can't hear myself think. Is everyone out to ruin me?